assumption either way. I guess so, yeah. You're making assumptions. It's true. Yeah. It's, yeah it's, like, I assume Let's it's see what the call is call for game one. It's going to be straight to Smashville right away. No rock, paper, scissors or anything. Just oh. going right into it. So we saw some really good stuff out of his DD in round one. Let's see if he'll be able to keep it up. But of course, Greninja's uncharged shuriken just defies all laws of physics and just hits the Gordo <laughs> right back at the same speed. Just about everything in this game just returns the Gordo back. Pretty much. Except is maybe, it, does Fox Laser return it back? I don't think so. That, I might be like I the, don't know. that might be like the one thing. I'm not sure about that. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Gordon just Hydro Pump actually puts it back. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. For sure. Not the most reliable projectile in the world, but it can lead to some pretty fun sets. It's one of the best and worst projectiles in the game. Okay, that might be stretching a little bit. <laughs> I mean, like you said, it does have a lot of setups, but it, does. it can be used against him a lot. And a lot easier to use against him than Diddy's Banana, for example. You don't have to catch it. You can hit it with any aerial or any other projectile. Despite, despite being outmatched in the matchup, Diddy hanging on pretty well here in this match. Oh, oh wow. nice double hit on the Gordo. And oh. Just like that, percent Ooh. lead. Going almost a shield break, almost another shield break. Back to back smash Jeez. attacks. Ninja gonna have to lay off just a little bit, get himself back up to full shield. Let's see, how how do you edge guard DDDS Greninja? Just outspace him with shurikens? I'd say that's the approach we're gonna see. Oh, definitely. Oh, wow. nice shadow sneak. If he got the Gordo to connect, that actually could have led to a KO. Either that or just tons of damage. Gordo. Oh, another Gordo! Gordo. Gordo. Oh, that's oh, him wow. at such a bad angle. That might have been. He made. He was DI definitely. Too. I don't think he was ready for that DI though. So I'm not gonna fault him on that. I got another it, it just happens. You know what? When you when you fight, oh, sure. you there's another monitor. Now. Oh, there's another monitor. Okay, that's dope. He just. Wa I'm sorry, you're late. <laughs> No, the water makes up for it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Our boy Kai walking in. Not the, not the Kai, but a Kai. I don't believe the Kai that... Uh, he's a Sonic Walmart Kai. He's a Walmart dude now, so... Oh, Shuriken gonna kill him. Wow. Shuriken half charge, but at 172. At the very edge of Smashville, yep, that'll be enough. See, 65% lead with DDD. Looking kind of scary for Greninja right here, but... Nice back he gets those combos. Nair? Oh, no follow-up from it. Of course, Greninja known as a very good combo character, d and Pretty big. Not exactly like great combo weight, though, compared to other heavy weight characters. d has got a little bit of a floatiness to him. He tries to go for that back air, but it actually won't work on d and because d and remains super armor the whole way through. Yeah. Maybe, maybe the way to go against d and is to use the up B to him, since I don't know if that is negated by super armor as well. So but we're gonna see the unsafe so. shuriken we've already done the punished by a down tilt. We're gonna see an edge guard. Nope. Greninja has brought this back. Up there, not gonna kill. Even percents. Well, actually, now one percent magnifying. Oh, Gordo. Maybe if that was facing the other way. This that is this is why you don't. Dash. This is why you don't commentate about percents because it just changes so quickly. So pretty wild. Game one to win. Wondering if we're going to see a counter pick to Bowser, just go heavyweight versus heavyweight, but Nefri's pretty confident in his Greninja. Bowser's so, jab oh, might wait, actually be... Oh, we are going to get... Oh, maybe. Looking at it. Uh, it looks like Town and yes. City that may have convinced him. He's like, you know what? I can get those those nice uh, Koopa percents there. Oh, we gotta update the score. Oh yeah, we gotta update the score. That is true. And the player names. And the player. <laughs> We're not very good without Reese. Wow, quick 42% on Bowser. But yeah, that one hit of Bowser's Nair actually does 12%. And just like that, <laughs> he's at 41. All right, sorry about that. We got the names updated now. Bowser has insane damage output on his uh, grab follow-up, specifically Nair. Bowser are looking a little bit better there, but that is going to get punished. Oh, oh wow. That's going to be a really early kill. And, and the, the taunt, taunt coming out. Can we see taunt to get bodied? Will we? Oh, he, he tried to respond immediately with that side B. That was a pretty smart move. It has no landing lag, actually. Not He's exactly. On stage down Bs are very risky. If he's looking for a shield break, he's going to get punished by a lot of percent. 
Looks yeah. can be deceiving. DDD can put on that damage. Fishing for the kill here. Looks Bowser, but the up smash up. is gonna take it. Actually. No taunt back. I'm a little surprised that DI was a little sus. Oh, he's the drop shield. I don't think that would have broken the shield, though. I don't think it would have broken the shield, but it would have done a lot of damage. Oh, yeah. You put anything else on there that could have led to a shield. And we see that Nair not getting all the hits, but doing 19%. Oh, nice side B, evening up percents. Oh, he's going to whiff the F smash. If Nefru wins this game, I'm still calling it taunt to get bodied, because I don't think that down smash at the ledge deserved the taunt. Ooh, Bowser in a bad spot. Oh, he's going okay. for the get up attack. Smart get up. Could have gotten down smashed again if he uh, reacted to that. The DDD hidden god coming out. Down smash. Down got... smash is working wonders for him at we the ledge. We actually saw that back, back one as well. Oh, oh, goes man. for the down air. Yeah, he's going for a read there. Oh, gets the down smash, sends him the other way. 87% on that DDD. That was your high rage. You never know what could happen. Would up throw up air kill at this percent? That's a good question. We are on Talon City. He's definitely looking oh, for a back, oh, and back air. And that's going to be a 2-0 for Colin, Colin D. D who will advance on to round three winners. So Colin D making his way through with this deity. Very surprising. And now we're going to have Blurb and Poston on stream. Shoutouts to RIT 